King Emmanuel the seventh, Adonia Gaja, Rastafari, the seventh coming, you know, of the Adoni. Give thanks for the spirit of truth return, you know, bringing us to remembrance of ourselves, you know, give thanks for all loved ones, you know, give thanks for all righteousness, give thanks for our glorious ones, you know, that are moving through, hovering around, strengthening themselves in the word of the Lord, you know. Give thanks for the Sabbath, you know, and the living of the Sabbath. Because it's a sabbatical living, you know, every day, you know. It's every day Sabbath, you know. It's not only Saturday, you know. It's every day we live in Sabbath by and by. Okay, so, why well, you know, just for a few moments, you know, reason on the 21-day principle, because the Honorable Priest Isaac made a most wonderful uh, lecture on the subject and uh, included some very, uh, you know, important addresses, you know, because uh, the Empress is them that were there uh, expressing themselves within such 21 day principle. It is understood, you know, I mean, the type of society that we live in right now, you know, it's not conducive to put such a strict order on a people, you know? Uh, so that means that there must be a reason for it, you know? So it's to understand the reason, you know, in this time, you know? And now I'm going to explain it as best as I possibly can, my laws and empress within my office, you know, as Royal Ambassador of this Ethiopia, Africa, Black International Congress, Church of Divine Salvation with our worthy founder, our leader, our president, God and King, the right honorable King Emmanuel Charles Edward, the black Christ in flesh, who come and bring all things to our remembrance. You know, this is the spirit of truth that the Christ 2000 years ago that was hung on a cross, you know, told us about that he would send forward unto us and why he had to leave in the first place to go and prepare a place for us, you know, see in John 14, you know, so that we can do and finish his work right the greater works that he has put for us to do right which is his united goody body right moving through as him you know not worshiping him but moving as him you see because that's the where the idol worship thing come in but that's another story right you know and we're gonna break that down too just to let everyone know okay we're our gods and goddesses that's why the idol worship thing is there you know, to let us know, yo, you can't make anything in the image of God because you are God. What are you doing? You know, it kind of don't make sense, you know, in the spiritual aspect of it. Now, when you topsy-turvy, you know, then it's going to be confusing, you know. So let us jump right into it, right? Take a little bit of my tea here because, you know, tea time also included in the whole fullness you know because sometimes you have to mix a little bit you know testimonial with you know with 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 um prophecy and history it's all part of it we're the living bible 
You know, Holy King Emmanuel the Seventh, Adonia, Gaja, Rastafari, my lords and emperors, princes and princes, give thanks for his blessed souping at this hour. Lord, soup with us as we soup with thee, that thy righteous words of, that come out of our mouth and the righteous meditations that are in our heart be continually acceptable in thy sight, O Jah, our strength and our redeemer. Holy King Emmanuel, I, King Celestia, Jah, Rastafari, Holy Empress Menenai, Omega, Jah, Rastafari, Mighty John, Marcus, I, Celestia, Jah, Rastafari, give thanks for the one and three and three and one. They never disagree. Give thanks, Almighty One, my Lord. It is not as not piping hot as it was earlier. Still wonderful. Lemongrass with agave. Lemongrass with agave. Oh my goodness. Thank you. As you continue reading from the book of Leviticus, right? Because we're going to take it from the beginning and then we're going to bring it to the end. Because as it was in the beginning, so shall it be in the end, right? Remember that, all right? So now, here we go. Continue reading from the book of Leviticus, chapter 15, verse 19. you get a certain age where but you know the sea mass is helping and teas is helping so let's go continue and reading from verse 19 of the book of Leviticus okay and if a woman have an issue and her issue in her flesh be blood she shall be put apart seven days, you know, and there was a, there was a issue there about putting the emphasis them apart, you know, and I understand, you know, this Bible, English could be fierce, you know, I'm pretty sure it said vacation, you know, uh, what we say is, you know, journey, that sounds better, right, on your journey, you know, or on your vacation, you know, uh, holiday yeah continue reading shall be put apart seven days remember that seven days now right and whosoever toucheth her shall be unclean until even and everything that she lieth upon in her separation shall be unclean everything also that she sitteth upon shall be unclean and whosoever toucheth her bed shall wash his clothes and bathe himself in water, and be unclean until the even. And whosoever toucheth anything that she sat upon shall be, uh, shall wash his clothes, and bathe himself in water, and be clean, and be unclean until even. And if it be on her bed, or on anything whereon she sitteth, when he toucheth it, he shall be unclean until the even. And if any man lieth with her at all, and her flowers be upon him, he shall be unclean seven days, and all the bed whereon he lieth shall be unclean. And if a woman have an issue of her blood many days out of her time of separation. Now this is very, very important because this is on the eighth day, like after you um, you have the seven days, because after the seventh day of the separation, now on the eighth day, you come to find out that, you know, the separation is still going on, the issue is still happening, right? <clears throat> okay. Continue, repeat verse 25 of the book of Leviticus. And if a woman have an issue of her blood many days out of the time of her separation, or if it run beyond the time of her separation, all the days of the issue of her uncleanness shall be 
as the days of her separation she shall be unclean all right so you stay in your vacation you know you stay in your journey you know um I don't even want to set separated anymore. Oh my God. Them empresses really make me feel aware, you know. Because they're right, you know. But the thing is, it's like my Lord said, you know. This is a kingdom, you know. The empresses are supposed to be on top of a pedestal, you know. You know. The mandem is the pedestal, you know. The man them supposed to uplift the empresses them, you know. That means the empresses them are supposed to be taken care of when they're on their vacation, you know. Like, taken care of to the heights. All they're doing is just enjoying their vacation, you know. So, Let's read that one again, all right? Let's read 25 again, just just to, you know, you know, get this because this is very important here now, okay? And if a woman have any issue of her blood many days out of the time of her separation or if it run beyond the time of her separation, all the days of the issue of her uncleanness shall be as the days of her separation, she shall be unclean. Every bed, bed whereon she lieth, all the days of her issue shall be unto her as the bed of her separation, and whosoever she uh, uh, or whatsoever she sitteth upon, pardon me, you know, shall be unclean, as unclean as un, as the uncleanness of her separation. Pardon me. My Lord, and, and whosoever touches those things shall be unclean and shall wash his clothes and bathe himself in water and be unclean until evening. But, now this is very important now. Remember the first seven days, right? The first seven days happened, right? And then the eighth day came, and then you find that, hey, something's still going on. Ah, well, then, Empress, you still have to be on your vacation. Enjoy. Right? Now, here it is. Verse 28, continue and read it. But if she, if she be cleansed after her issue, this is after the seven days, you know. But if she be cleansed of her issue, then she shall number to herself seven days. And after that, she shall be clean. Because you have to first go through the first seven, you know, to then find out what's going on. And then, after you find out, hey, everything is blessed. No stress in the chest. Oh, well, then in other parts, in the, you know, abdomen, right? You're adding another seven days, so that's four, 15, you know. That's 15, you know. Let's count. It is seven plus the one day to evaluate, all right? And then add another seven, that's 15. Okay, 15. Okay? And on the eighth day, of the sev second seven, this is 29 verse now, continue and read it. And on the eighth day, she shall take unto her two turtle doves and two young pigeons and bring them unto the priest, unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And the priest shall offer the one for a sin offering and the other for a burnt offering. And the priest shall make an, atone an atonement for her before the Lord for the issue of her uncleanness. Holy Manuel I, King Selassie I, Ja, Rastafari. So from verse 19 to verse 30, you know, is the fullness of the woman's issue. You go 31, 32, and 33, we'll seal it. We can seal that and seal the book properly, you know. But 
that specifically is what I wanted to really point on, you know, that it is 16 days, you know, a 16 day separation. And, uh, you know, we will read, you know, in, the, in this day, because this was in the beginning. And as it was in the beginning, remember, so shall it be in the end. But why, why, why is that so necessary? Right? Do we need to ask? You know, because the discipline of um, of of our sexual lust. I mean, same thing, eh? Well, you know, well, no, no. Our sexuality is different, totally different than being lustful. You know, sexuality is just identify, you know, what sex you are. You know, and lust is just, yeah. The all out ravaging of the flesh. Lord have mercy. Family, you know, this is where we come to put the discipline into play, right here. As it was in the beginning, so shall it be in the end. And the discipline, in order to get out of this state of mind that we're in, it has to start from within ourselves, you know, within the order of life, you know, and how to put ourselves back in the right timing. You know, and that's why King Emmanuel come and show us the Sabbath day to be kept holy. It is on the seventh day. You see? That's why when we say King Emmanuel the seventh, it means more than, you know, just a title. You know, it has deep significance, you know, of the seventh day of the week and that whole timing and what it incorporates amongst humanity what does the seven mean you know who would be the seventh coming you know because really and truly when we put in there's been six hours before you know so now a thief in the night vibes coming and this is what we're preparing ourselves for you know that when the king returns he find us working diligently you know not not outside of ourselves you know inside of ourselves that's the whole fullness inside you know, so that when we come outside, it is plausible. God knows I'm not good at this, you know. You know, I'm still working on it, you know. I know they're going to have ones and so looking to press my buttons. Some going to press them and they're going to get the exact result that they deserve. Hopefully, it'll be good. Yeah, because we are not coming here to deal with no flesh and blood, you know. You know evil principalities in high and low places though we are blood and fire warriors you know which means that we can defend ourselves but we're not about you know uh offensives you know as best as we can you know because the father really teach us you know to try not to offend you know because we might offend you know, the least of one of these. And we already know what he's already said about that. You know, so let's continue reading, right? Because we're going to seal this up. Thus, continue reading from verse 31 of the book of Leviticus. Thus shall he separate the children of Israel from their uncleanness, that they die not in their uncleanness, when they defile my tabernacle that is amongst them. This is the law of him that has an issue and of him whose seed goeth out of him and is defiled therewith and of her that is sick of her flowers and of him that has an issue and of the man and of the woman and of him that lied with her that is unclean. Holy Manuelai, Selassie, Ja, Rastafari, my lords and empress, prince and princess. Give thanks for such a glorious reading of this mighty book, you know. And now we're going to go to the glorious and wonderful reading of our principal laws and commandments. All right. Now our principal laws and commandments, you are, by the way, you see, wonderful, wonderful tool of justice, you know, black supremacy, which black supremacy in, in our culture means righteousness remember you know everything taps the turvy you know what's right is wrong and what's wrong is right up in babylon right so in ethiopia and africa christianity is different than what it is perceived of out here as christians you know um so 
religion is different politics you know is different it is not the same way that it is practiced out here you know so here you know this is this is you know the justification of even you know the man of right and his work and what he's done you know and you know, even right here you see the seventh coming you know when you see right there the seventh coming you know and it is verified and justified you know that this man come to bring about the sabbath the understanding of what the sabbath is you see really and how we can with the sabbath and with the works of the scriptures cleanse our dirty mouths you know you know how come you know so and make things right you know so we're going to continue reading from the book of um look 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 you see you have to write things down you know this is my sabbath study started here you know i've got a lot of things to do and 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 sometimes i start and you know uh uh, uh i write folks name you know that i need to get in contact with instead of and then the, you know sam's reading you know uh, for tuesday and then work on july 23rd flyer you know that's that's july 23rd flyer my lords and empress we need to you know get onto our celebration of our king you know so yes we're we got all these works going but then on top of these works we've got these works you know which are of, a, of, a, of most importance because we have to break these things down and these are things that are representative of our jerusalem school room task force you know which um uh we all who know the right are members of you know so here in the order of conduct brethren supposed to be of the brethren you're gonna fix a lot of things you know we have um in the third paragra paragraph all brethren are to stay away from empress gates house when red flag is up during such time all brethren are to stay a safe distance from sisters fence except when ministering water to her which he must do without seeing her hearing her or touching her fence if an empress is doing unfree ministering and her children with her no one is to touch her or her children the empress and her children should be humble and quiet during such times stay away from them to keep free from pollu from pollution so obviously there are times when the empresses them are going to see other empresses that are free and do others that are not free now you know this is rare you know but it happens and when it does happen this is the conduct of how the unfree must move through you know and um and 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 show themselves humble now this is the thing you know it's a discipline family you know we are in a camp right the camp is meant to humble the spirit from a very very out of order spirit when we read psalms 82 we see that all of us are gods and goddesses all of us are children of the most high but their consequences when we do not do the work of the almighty God, of children of God, of which he calls us gods as well, right? You know, so we must be very, very understanding. Now, the leadership is very, very important in this case because the leadership is what's going to manifest the will of God. In other words, his mercy you know understanding that we've come from a different place and everyone knowing where we come from because we are come from the same place and knowing the struggles that we went through we don't want those struggles to be passed on anymore right so we have a discipline in order to cleanse that old way from nutrition uh physical cleansing to spiritual word sound power cleansing and it all has an order 
you know it all has an order the empress have a space to build herself into that god empress men in power you know commanding her world you know setting it all in the place it's supposed to be set for her to move through as the goddess that she is with that god-like uh uh you know character you know no arrogance about it but just a confident character of i've got this you know that is that virtuous woman character oh my empress and that's why she does so well in her job you know because she has that little fire and her little quiet self you know wow you know i'm learning you know i'm getting back i'll get back to my quiet self you know that was many years ago of course but you know someday we'll get back there continue and reading right because pollution is a serious affair is where everything starts to get really dicey when it comes to this principle laws and commandment and mind you you know family this was written back in the 70s early 70s okay maybe 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 late 70s you know and the kind of thing that was going on in that time you know after the vietnam war and things like that and the whole hippie movement and everything that are going on in america come on man you know promiscuity is on an all-time high like just rampant right so we needed a very strict discipline especially us the house of israel that we just you know ah boy we love each other eh? it's a serious thing eh? continue all right all brethren through the love of the of their mother sister daughter should strengthen all empress freely brethren can freely minister water to them and can also see that their house and fences are set up strong and secure pillars no cooking at brethren's gates mm -mm. neither should the brethren go to a, to an empress gates place of abode to cook all cooking should take place at the universal kitchen however empress are free to cook at their gates as the kitchen does not always prepare something in time to fulfill the needs of her and her little ones you see so this is very important the empresses have autonomy they control their own environment so now this is the fullness that we're talking about where you have in now the empresses them in control of their environment setting it up and so on, making sure that it has all it needs to minister to all her needs hmm? Hmm. this is wonderful okay continue reading all smoking ceasing from 10 p.m friday until 6 p.m saturday and then sabbath con closing him holy manuel i celestia i ja rastafari i add the hill in the end that is not in the principles guidelines book you know it's just that it ends most beautifully because you see that last part there the last part there a lot of us brethren have a hard time with that part there that last part there you know and this is in the pollution is a serious affair um you know segment of the principle laws and commandment and i know i know the word pollution i know you know that's why we need to set back our parliament you know our righteous parliament you know our parliament that all people know who they are where they are what they've done how they've done it who they've done it to we know we know their history just like how we know the history of all the leaders in any organization you know it is very important that we know the leaders of our organization who they are what they've done what made them qualify to be in those positions and are they still qualified to be in those positions you know because our principle laws and commandments you know really dictate some serious serious principles that require serious serious individuals to judge over them you know as parliamentarians you know and they must have a very 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 sensitive heart very loving and kind spirit 
you know, willing to listen and not get angry after the first fireball that come out. I'm gonna have problems with that one. Hence, you know, we're still building. You know. Now, the next segment is the order of conduct, honorable empresses, goddesses, and prophetess. Prophetess. This is a powerful segment that we will leave for another time because time is fastly going by. My little corner don't go more than an hour. We're halfway through the fullness with a half hour, right? You know, you all think we should go into this, yeah? You know, let's see how much we have. You know, we were just talking about the 21 days right now, okay? Because for the next few, Holy Manuel, Celestia, Ja, Rastafari. For the next few, I would like to give you all my personal experience on the 21 day principle, you know? So that the item know, you know? It is the most difficult thing on the planet. For a man to control himself from the love that he has for his empress. A man of right that loves the Bible. When you read the songs of Solomon and the type of poetry that is spoken about the unity between such beings on this planet it is it is of the most inspiring and touching heartfelt warming feelings you can feel i mean wow you know right no? And then when you have one that you can share that with, you know, how do you keep that, how do you keep that love the same? Like, how do you never stop loving them like the first time you love them? You know? How, how does that happen? So, In 23 years with my queen, you know, I would, I would uh, honestly say that it's been about the 21 day principle, you know. When, when, you, when you first meet your queen, you know, and you have that fluttering heart, butterfly vibes in your tummies, you know, and you know that that is the one forever you know you want to keep that you know you know and when you see the world and how the world has divorces right and how people really don't even want to be you know married anymore you know or even you know and it becomes like people are really afraid because they don't trust you know, that they can be human, you know, because to be human is to be to be meek and right and just and when you when you have that in your heart, then you're a warrior and you know, you're also a teacher, you know, a humble teacher that children can learn from and actually, you know, have a good time learning, you know. So the 21 day principle is a time for you to keep everything fresh. You know, the empresses go on their journey and in their journey, they pamper themselves, keeping themselves fresh, you know, and the king man them take that time to go and build themselves 
they become stronger in the works around the house, the works around their business, the work around themselves. Because now you don't have an empress now, so now you're building now on your spiritual word sound power development, you know? You're not being distracted by others who are not on the journey. Because we don't know who's on the journey once your empress is on the journey because it's a connection, right? The moon, the moon brings the fullness, you know? When in my home, my family, my princesses get on their journey, it's like with the empress, it's everybody. It's like we are polluted. That is a truth. Now we have mercy because God mercy endures forever. So in this time, this is a merciful time we're living in here right now. You know, because this has never been done. I never thought I would be up here doing, you know, Psalms reading in a little corner, feeling all confident about going into the world and discussing King Emmanuel works, you know? Mm, no, I, you know, I felt that I've been, you know, pushing the works out there and, you know, in the plow, you know? Yeah, coming in here and directing and setting things and so on and going forward, but, you know, in the trenches with my soldiers, you know, because this is how it should be, you know, but because every time have its season, here it is, we are, you know, in a time that has a season, and a season will soon be over, so we got to prepare, <laughs> excuse me, it's the best, well, Emmanuel, I, Celestia, Ja, Rastafari. You know, so discipline of paramount importance, you know, and it helps when we have each other, you know, when a one could look to another one and say, oh, my Lord, you know, I think he was a little bit red on that one, you know. Now, if I humble myself and I say, oh, my Lord, for real, uh, I'm walking on it, you know, my Lord, that one is a rough one, you know, but pardon me, my Lord, I'm walking on it. Just can't let things get away so easy, you know, because things are hard, but I'm working on it, my Lord, I pray. It's a just common sense reply, you know? But if you go out, oh, I'm going to burn them out, my Lord, we're just going to burn them out. And that come a little ego issue, you know, in a way, you know. You can't see no kind of like, wow, you can't compromise with my Lord, you know? Things can't happen and so on, and then it'd be like, well, we check what happened first before we you know minister the word of right how do you minister the word of right you know does it have to be with a hard tone I know I have a hard tone in my voice sometimes I listen to myself and I go is that me yeah that's you Bobo calm down you know but that's the journey you know and I I hope and pray that we all can make this journey together easier, you know, because it is not, it is not for no one to make it alone anymore. The martyrs that came before us, they did that work for us. We don't have to do that anymore, you know. We don't have to act like we run things or anybody one man run things. We all have to run this thing as one. That means everybody have to be Emmanuel in their position, in their office, in their talent. Every one of us, you know, so we have to respect each other. We have to love one another. That's the real love right there, you know. Because love is lovely, war is ugly. Love, love is loved ones, you know. I don't know who said that. But the thing about it is, it's true. You think I, who love my children, going to see them getting hurt and just stand there and say, Ja, I love you more, so I can just watch them get hurt because... What? No, man. 
it's gonna be weeping and mourning and gnashing at teeth, you know. But the thing about it is, we have to be able to break it down with word sound power before it gets to that. It shouldn't get to that with I and I. We should be able to diffuse, you stand and infuse, you know. <clears throat> it shouldn't be as a priest. It shouldn't be I loud and then you get louder. It should be I loud, you go lower. Why are they lying with? Well, my lord. Okay, sorry. I don't know if that might be right or well like that. But if you stay consistent in my lord. And you know, I have to work at that too. You know? I have to stay right here. Try and be right here. Because I'm always uh, uh, going, you know. But I need to be here, here, staying. And even when I'm going, stay here, you know. That is most difficult, you know, to stay in yourself, you know. So, family, let us help each other stay in ourselves. It is the only way out of here, you know. This is the only way out of here. Discipline. 21 days, the Empress vacation. Yeah, man, the man, them. This is the thing. Empresses, with all due respect, with all due respect, you know. Um, we have to make sure we, the king, man, them. We have to make sure that we settle within ourselves. You see, so you could have a most wonderful palace to go and retreat. That is, it should be called a, a retreat. You know how the yeah, the empress's retreat, empress's retreat. Hmm. Right. You know, we have to be able to uplift our queens, man. You know, when I first came to this thing, I couldn't. I ain't see this thing like this, you know. I didn't see this, you know, whole like whole down meditation for the empresses but then again i didn't see the ignorance in the priests too and when i mean ignorance i mean not knowing the scriptures not knowing them and by not knowing them i mean not studying them and being wise about their sayings you know and until we can produce this type of you know leadership that is going to be humble and loving and kind and slow to anger and quick to bless you know and ready to defend at a blink of an eye's notice and ready to hug and kiss at a sight of a smile you know with understanding you know because everything is with understanding you know, you're not gonna just, you know, up and smile with the first stranger you see because you don't know that stranger. So it'll have to be someone that might have got it burnt a little bit and feeling away, you know. And the minute you see them smile, it make you smile, you know. The offender or the offendee, you know, after they get hurt, they like to be smiled at, you know, to let them know like, hey, it's all right, you'll be okay, you know. And then that makes them understand that, yeah, unless they harden themselves and then become a different thing. Because nobody is harder than anybody than your own self. You know, you have to forgive. That's why we have to forgive ourselves. You know, that's the, that's the equation. You offend, you know, you ask forgiveness, you know, you ask the Almighty God forgiveness first. Because that's who we love first. If we love the Almighty God first with all our might and all our soul and all our heart, right? And we offend, right? Then we have to ask Him forgiveness first within ourselves. Now, you have to then forgive yourself, you know? And then go through the process of asking forgiveness of others. You know, if you don't forgive yourself, that's going to be a rough thing. When you look to ask forgiveness of others and then they don't accept your forgiveness, you might feel away. But if you don't, if you don't, it's because you're already forgiving yourself and you're going to show them that they will never see or hear about anything remotely close to what was done there. You see, 
And that is the cycle that the man and woman bring in, into order once again when we're all in our right space and right timing, doing the right things and not it being all turpsy turvy, you know? So Royal Family, you know, we'll seal it for now. We'll give thanks, you know, cause time fastly spent. God knows we have so much thing doing and so that <laughs> reinforcements now appearing, victory is nigh. So give thanks for all the angels that have been holding the fort, you know, in lowly pumps, because that's what lowly pumps mean. Lowly, when you're lowly, you're humble, but pump is like you're, you're like a little pump of pride, you know, but you're still humble. You're humbly proud of being a child of the Most High. King Selassie, Ja, Rastafari, Royal Family with all those few words. Give thanks, you know, for a little moment here in our little corner, you know, our little tea time. We'll testify about some little personal, you know, meditations, testimony, you know, and understand that, you know, um, we all are one, you know, and separation is good, you know, when it's the right time. Like everything else. Holy Empress, men and I, Celestia, Ja, Rastafari, Royal Family, blessed out the love.